हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग होप ऑल आर सेफ एट होम एंड एंजॉइंग योर हॉलीडे बाय स्टार्टिंग थ्रू डिजिटल वे आई एम हेयर टू कंटिन्यू आवर प्रीवियस चैप्टर वर्व एज आई हैड टोल्ड इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट ऑब्जेक्ट इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ना आवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज ऑब्जेक्ट वट इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट Now, object is a noun or a pronoun which is governed by a verb or preposition. Okay, let me explain you in easy way. Here, this sentence means to say that an object can be found from a sentence by asking question, "What a whom?" just after the main verb, where "what" relates to non-living and "whom" relates to living. Hence, "what" is direct object and "whom" is indirect. and you all know that we cannot use what to a person and whom to a thing now let's see over there note it is placed after main verb and it can be identified by asking what or whom for example rohit gave me a cup of coffee now rohit we all know that that is subject gave verb and just after that verb there is a object means object is also of two kind they are direct object and indirect object here me a cup of coffee and i have already told you that whom is indirect and what is direct so rohit gave me what a cup of coffee so a cup of coffee is direct object and to whom rohit gave to me so what is me me is indirect Now let's move to our next topic. There are two types of main verb. They are transitive and intransitive. So let's talk about first part, transitive verb. So the verb used with an object is called a transitive verb. Remember that used with an object. Now it means that a sentence which consists object. I mean to say, what a whom after verb. It is called transitive now let's move to the example sita plays volleyball i love you he reads the book according to our first example sita plays volleyball so play is verb and just after that it is saying about what which means what does she play she plays volleyball hence volleyball is object after this here comes intransitive verb now the verb used without an object is called an intransitive verb remember that without an object so here it means that intransitive verb does not consist object let's move to the example bird sings i go to school he ran fast So according to the first example bird sings a picture is also given over there singing bird picture so now in this example bird sings there is no object which means that this sentence is not asking about what a whom so there is no object at last we have finished our chapter that's all for today hope you all are enjoyed this video as well as you understood also so we will meet in our next video till then stay safe stay home thank you